In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on ISLM model. The question is, uh, consider the following aggregate demand system. Money demand is equal to aggregate demand minus rate of interest. And also, uh, M uh, superscript D upon P denotes the real demand for money is equal to MS upon P, which is real money supply. And aggregate demand is composed of consumption expenditure, investment expenditure, and government expenditure. Consumption is a function of income. That is C is equal to 1 plus 0.5 Y. Investment is negative function of rate of interest. Okay, I is equal to 1 minus 0.5 R. And we have to derive the IS and LM functions here. Okay, so basically uh, we know that uh, in equilibrium aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand okay and aggregate supply is being shown by y that means aggregate sub, uh, supply is being shown by y means that our y should be equal to what is our aggregate demand that is c plus i plus g okay so let us first uh, derive the aggregate sorry is curve okay and we know that uh, this is function or is curve shows us different combinations of level of income or gdp and rate of interest where our goods market is in equilibrium okay so we need to derive out this is function okay so is function shows us goods market equilibrium and we know goods market is in equilibrium okay let me write it here it is is so our goods market is in equilibrium when our aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand and that means y is equal to c plus i plus g which gives us y is equal to what is our consumption function that is 1 plus 0 0.5 which denotes our marginal propensity to consume times y plus investment investment function is being given us is 1 minus 0 0.5 r plus the government expenditure okay so solving for y so if i transpose this here so we have y minus 0 0.5 y is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 so i can write 2 uh, minus 0 0.5 r plus g subtracting 0.5 y from y so we are left with 0 0.5 y is equal to 2 minus 0 0.5 r plus g okay that gives us y is equal to so 1 upon 2 in place of 0.5 y or let me write it here to save the space here so in place of this 0.5 y let me write it 1 upon 2 okay 1 upon 2 y now transposing this 1 upon 2 it will get multiplied with each of the term so we have y is equal to 2 2 are 4 minus 2 times 0 0.5 comes out to be 1 so we are left with r okay uh, i hope i am doing the calculation right yes it is r plus twice g okay so here we can see there is negative relationship between rate of interest and the gdp here okay so this is our aggregate sorry this is our is is function for lm uh, for lm lm shows us the money market equilibrium okay it shows us money market equilibrium and we know that our uh, i have explained it in the islm model that our uh, lm curve is a curve which shows us the relationship between level of income or gdp and rate of interest and there is negative relationship between rate of interest and level of gdp okay so every point on this line shows us the money market equilibrium where demand for money okay is equal to supply of money okay so our money market will be in equilibrium when demand for money is equal to supply of money which is exogenous here okay so 
what is demand for money demand for money is being shown as by ad minus r and supply of money is being given us by m superscript s upon p okay so we know ad as i have told you uh, ad is equal to y so as we know uh, at equilibrium aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand so in place of ad i can write y here okay that means y minus r is equal to m s upon p okay and this demand for money here as i have written it here and uh, there is positive relationship uh, with income and a negative relationship with rate of interest here okay so why we know it is equal to uh, consumption plus investment plus government spending then we have minus r should be equal to ms upon p consumption is being given as 1 plus 0.5 y plus investment is being given as 1 minus 0.5 r uh, plus we have this g minus r is equal to real money supply that is ms upon p so we have here 1 and 1 is 2 uh, plus 0.5 y minus 0.5 r minus r is minus 1.5 r should be equal to ms upon p okay are uh, doing one thing here let us transpose all items to rhs here that means we have 0.5 y is equal to we have m s upon p here now if i transpose and obviously we have g here i have you know forgotten it m s upon p then let's write minus 1.5 r okay if i transpose it becomes plus 1.5 r then we have plus 2 plus 2 and we have this minus g here mm, minus g now 0.5 y can be written as 1 upon 2 y is equal to m s upon p plus 1.5 r plus 2 minus g that gives us y or uh, let me write it here uh, so our y is equal to if i transpose it will get multiplied to each of these terms so this will become 2 m s upon p uh, plus 2 into 1.5 it comes out to be 3 r uh, plus uh, 2 to the 4 minus 2 g this is our lm equation okay this is our lm equation and you here you can see there is positive relationship between rate of interest and level of income or gdp so that's why our lm curve is you know positive slope or it has a positive slope and in case of the is you can see there is negative relationship between rate of interest and level of income this minus shows us there is negative relationship okay so this is how do we solve it in the question itself it was being i guess it was mistakenly mistakenly uh, mistakenly shown that it is investment is a function of income but i have rectified it i guess it is investment should be a function of rate of interest okay so i have just uh, you know manipulated the question uh, i don't know there is any explanation in writing why here or not but uh, originally this was being given us that investment is a positive function of negative function of income but i have written it here or okay so that i was able to solve this i hope i make myself clear thank you